Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. Sugar is bad for you. Wait, is it? Or is that? As Arnold would say, Bullshit. Sugar isn't bad for you. Sugar is bad for you is bullshit. Let's take a look at why. So, a couple of things. Six, to be specific. Of course, you already know me. I have a numbered list. Few people who make the claim that sugar is bad can actually chemically define what sugar is. Profoundly few. A tiny fraction. So, are they talking about monosaccharides? Are they talking about disaccharides? I, I don't know. Most of them don't even know what that is. Are they talking about any of the following sugars that are very common? Glucose, fructose, galactose, sucrose, lactose, maltose? What the fuck is maltose? Who knows? People who say sugar is bad for you almost always don't, which is a bad sign. How many people are against galactose? People will be like, fructose, man, fucks you up. Glucose is bad for you, bro. It destroys your kidneys. Galactose is like the name of a overlord from space. Galactose. Hmm? Skyscraper. Shit like that. Nobody knows what the fuck lactose is. Why not? It's a sugar. Shouldn't it kill us all also? Interesting. Another problem. Almost all the people who say sugar is bad for you, mm, I take that back. Half. Because the other half are insane keto zealots, low carb insanity people. And this one half is sugar is bad, but they still eat whole grains. Well, whole grains, the carbohydrate component, is almost always eventually starch. And starch breaks down in the blood into, drum roll, glucose, the fastest digesting of all sugars, the one that has the biggest effect on your um, insulin. Yahoo, folks. So then starch is also bad? So then all grains are bad? Some people are on that wagon, going straight to hell. But a lot of people are like, wait, wait, hold on. I don't even know what I know anymore. Right? So maybe it's just some sugars. Maybe not all of them. Well, fructose is definitely the most vilified. But even that's not bad for you unless the quantities are massive and wildly unrealistic. And that's like the worst one. So all of a sudden, the worst one isn't that bad. We have a problem. Maybe sugar isn't actually bad for you. Now, why do people think sugar is bad for you? I promise it's not for no reason, right? It's like someone who is afraid of dogs often has like a decent, not always, often has a decent reason. Like, yeah, man, when I was six years old, I wanted to befriend this poodle that lived across the street and it reached out my hand and he fucking nabbed me, man. He was like, ah, and I was like, ah, and I cried a lot. And I fucking can't, I, I'm scared of dogs ever since, bro. Like, yeah, I feel you, decent reason. Also, um, side note, I hate poodles. I hate them. What is the purpose of a poodle? They're not cute. Don't start. Don't even get in the comments with the shit. They look ridiculous. They bitch all the time. There's nothing a poodle won't whine about. And poodles hate me. I've been over a few friends' houses, they had poodles, and they just sit in the corner and go, ah, ah, ah. like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You either fight me or not. They're weird. They're anxious. Allegedly, they're smart. What the fuck, motherfucker? I didn't buy a computer. I bought a fucking dog. I don't need it to be smart. I'm smart. There's only... Two smart people in my house are going to say one, but my wife's probably smarter than me. So like a dog, a bulldog's a fine dog. Bulldogs are better than poodles. That's the last thing about it I'll say. How's that for a tangent? Get at me in the comments. Here's the thing. Just like people who've been bitten by dogs have a sort of legit understandable reason why they fear dogs, people have an understandable reason why they think sugar causes health problems because a lot of the people they've seen in life who eat a bunch of sweet treats tend to be over fat and unhealthy. And they've even had some instances in their life, perhaps, maybe even currently, where they were or are eating lots of sweet treats and they're less healthy than they used to be and fatter than they used to be. And they're like, duh, it's the sugar. It's totally believable. However, almost always what people are doing is two things. One, the sugar just lets, it's so tasty that it just lets them eat so many calories that they eat more calories than they burn. And that's the real thing that if you do it over a long time and you don't train with weights, you end up getting over fat and metabolically unhealthy. It's the extra calories from the sugar. It's not the sugar itself, right? It's like someone dies from being overworked in some kind of crazy like prison labor camp or something. You know, like what's the last thing he was doing? Like he was walking with like a pile of, you know, like tree branches. They had him chop and he just died right there. Be like, it's the walking that did it. Walking kills. Like mm, it's all the physical activity summed up minus no food, minus no rest. That's the imbalance there. 
And it doesn't matter if he was walking or if he was sitting down or if even he was laying and fell asleep. You imagine like he died in a sleep. You're like, sleep's a fucking silent killer, bro. Like, I don't think that's what it is. So it's not the sugar itself that's getting you into deep shit. It's the fact that sugar is so easy to eat. If you eat a lot of it, it often gets you calories up so high that you're way more calories than you burn. You accumulate fat, accumulate fat, accumulate fat. That leads to metabolic dysregulation and all those other bad things and then poor health. That's reason number one. Reason number two is when people say, oh, it's the sugar that got me fat, they usually think they mean sugar, but a lot of times it's not just sugar. Name a sugary food that you love that you know is bad for your health and has potentially get you fat. I promise you there's a very good chance that the foods you name also have lots of fat in them. Like people will be like, hey, man, you want a milkshake from McDonald's? They're really good. They got a new one out. It's cappuccino flavor. Like, oh, yeah, man, I can't have sugar. Like, oh, right on. Do you want like the 80 grams of fat in that thing still? Like, oh, well, also fat. So donuts, chocolates, cakes, ice creams. Did I mention donuts? They are all stuffed with sugar for sure, but also a crap load of fat. What is just just sugar? Like pixie sticks? Uh, Scott, the video guy, what's that candy called? Smarties or whatever? Smarties. The shit that lets you pretend you're eating like a dozen ecstasy pills at the same time. Yep. What I always did with that candy when I was a kid, it's hard to get fat off that shit because that's pure sugar. I mean, there's only so many containers of Smarties you can eat until you're like, man, fuck this. But you can eat a lot of ice cream. The fat plus the sugar really makes it super tasty. You super crave it even more. And then it's also super high calories because fat is a ton of calories. It's the fat plus the sugar that does most of the work. So yeah, sugar can be super tasty and make you go over calories just by itself, but a lot of times fat really helps. And another way to sort of demonstrate that is like, well, fruit has tons of sugar. And a lot of people highly erroneously are like, well, I don't eat fruit because of sugar. Mm -hmm. Show me somebody that got fat and unhealthy off of eating fruit. Can you imagine? You come into your doctor's office, he like does a bunch of fucking blood work and tests and shit like that, scans, and he's like, apples, Jim, apples are killing you. And you're like, <laughs> did you just kidding? Up. He's like, your wife, think about your wife. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Now, donuts? Yeah. Jim's killing his, you know what I'm saying, relationship with his wife because of donuts. Ice cream? Sure. Apples? Come on. Now, just sugar by itself doesn't have a punch. Now, speaking of punch, there are ways to manage this situation, still have sugar, but keep your risk for getting over fat and unhealthy very low. One is generally avoid or minimize, don't avoid, minimize and intelligently arrange your consumption of highly processed, high calorie, high sugar and fat foods. Like, you know, ice cream is the shit and you should have it sometimes. But if you're on like a fat loss phase to get your weight down to a low level so you can maintain, have less ice cream or not a lot. Or if you're going to have ice cream, have a few pints on the weekends and on the week just eat like normal healthy people food instead of just eating ice cream all the fucking time. You know, like adult shit. That's a good start. Another one, the punch reference coming back in a little late, fruit juices. Fruit juices are super tasty, but they jam a crap load of calories into a very easy to consume container and their effect on your appetite after is minimal. So you can have like 150 calories of orange juice and be like, I can eat the same size meal that I would if I didn't have that 150 calories, which begs the question, why the fuck are you doing that? Well, if you don't have a problem with your weight or health, hey, sweet, drink all the orange juice you want. But if you do have trouble with your weight getting too high and your health getting too poor, take the orange juice and ditch it or have less of it or have a low calorie or calorie free substitute. Tons of that stuff going around. And while I'm on the subject, Fago, and if you don't have Fago soda, I'm sorry for you. In Michigan, we have this thing called Fago and it's called pop in Michigan, not soda. I know it's a lot to take in. Fago diet orange is like if gods were making the greatest foods ever, and while they were chopping up these godlike fruits, some of the juice leaked off the table from Mount Olympus and you, <laughs> you got some, that's what it would taste like. Orange juice, I haven't even heard of it. Diet, they go orange, nothing natural about it, which is the best part. But in any case, real talk, eat less junk food, eat less sweet treats that make you super fat, that have tons of fats in them, minimize your consumption of fruit juices if you have weight and health problems, and then in that context of moderation, there's no need to fear sugar at all. There's nothing chemically about it that fucks your physiology that makes you super fat. It's just a matter of calorie intake, a matter of satiety, how hungry something makes you or how less hungry it makes you, and a matter of junk foods and minimizing that hyper palatable food. Folks, is sugar really bad? That's bullshit. And I'll see you next time. 
with another terrible Arnold impression. Bye.